Today let's talk about these two sunscreens from Dot & Key. One is the Vitamin C plus E Super Bright Sunscreen and the other one is the Watermelon Cooling Sunscreen. Actually earlier I used one sunscreen from Dot & Key that is their Sika and Niacinamide Sunscreen. That sunscreen texture is not great when compared to the other sunscreens in the market and I reviewed the same and in that video I have also mentioned that Dot & Key has a lot of potential and I wish they come up with a very good sunscreen and um, here they are they launched two sunscreens and this sunscreen is going viral on Instagram like I see everybody raving about this sunscreen and Dot & Key also promoting the sunscreen like crazy they are doing all this influencer marketing and everything when coming to this sunscreen so let's see if it's worth all the hype or not Hi, I'm Anusha. I make videos related to skincare. If this is your vibe, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting with the SPF factor, it has got SPF 50 and PA triple plus rating and the certification is also uploaded on the website. So it is a certified sunscreen and it is a hybrid sunscreen. I'll be leaving all the filters on the screen. They are same as the plum niacinamide sunscreen, exactly the same filters and along with the filters they have used three types of vitamin c ascorbyl glucoside and uh, kakadu plum extract which is known for rich vitamin c content in it and blood orange very rich source of vitamin c so three types of vitamin c and they have also included vitamin b in this formulation so we are getting like a lot of antioxidants from the sunscreen antioxidants are if you have them in sunscreen they boost the efficacy of your sunscreen now coming to the texture it has got this serum running serum kind of texture and it blends seamlessly into the skin it will leave no white cast no peeling nothing and it settles into a matte finish it is a fragrance free product so i think overall it is a very very good sunscreen and i think it's worth all the hype it is getting on the internet the only one thing is that if you are not comfortable using benzophenone 3 near sunscreen then this is not the one for you if you are comfortable using benzophenone 3 then definitely you can pick this one up yeah and it is very comfortable matte finish some matte sunscreens are like they will suck the soul out of your skin but this is not like that it will feel very comfortable on the skin so yeah and uh, now coming to the second variant it is their watermelon cooling sunscreen this has got a little uh, light lotion kind of texture this is like serum drops but this is like a very uh, watery lotion kind of texture it has got spf 50 and pa triple plus um, same as that of this one and uh, this has got the same filters it is also a hybrid sunscreen and the exact same filters along with the filters it has got watermelon extract beetroot extract and aloe vera leaf juice so these are the main differences between the two sunscreens it has got all the vitamin c extracts in it while this one has got more skin cooling hydrating kind of ingredients in it so yeah and coming to the application part it blends so well like a very lightweight moisturizer into the skin and it will give this beautiful cooling sensation on the skin which i really really loved and uh, my skin feels very you know very soothed and that cooling calming kind of effect on the skin uh, so yeah that's like the main difference between these two sunscreens and this one is not a certified one i think this is a very relatively new launch and they might have applied for certification and uh, generally i i have seen brands doing this in the recent days first they are releasing the sunscreen and after some days they are up, they are uploading the picture of the certificate so i i am guessing that this might happen with this sunscreen also so the certification is not there right now on the website at the time i am shooting this video it is not there but in the future they might do it so yeah a very good sunscreen uh, i felt that this one is a little more hydrating while this one gives you like a matte finish my skin is not from very oily skin family i like sunscreens that are a little too little hydrating and stuff so i am inclining more towards this sunscreen the ingredients are good everything is good if you are happy with benzophenone 3 go for this one both the sunscreens are not water resistant or sweat resistant so they get easily washed off if you sweat a lot or if you wash your face with water i think this sunscreen will go even more viral than this one if they promote it well in the future so yeah those are my thoughts on two sunscreens from dot and key if you find this video useful in any way for you even if you find a little help please hit that subscribe button and please hit that like button because that will help me a lot in growing this channel so yeah we'll meet you in my next video till then take care bye